Tonight, this dog has a new home after a woman claims she saw a homeless man abusing it. Now, police could not find proof of that, so instead of charging the man, they charged her for stealing the dog. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Barber spoke to those involved and learned the homeless man now has a new dog and is getting help. The woman says she first ran into the homeless man and his dog right here at this corner produce market. She says when that man tried to tie up that dog at that gas station, just about a minute later, she stepped in. I went down to try to pet him, and he jumped up on me, and I was loving on him. He was kissing on me, and the man just whacked him with his stick as hard as he could. Robin Huffman says the man kept hitting this dog named Rocky. And he was tying the dog up on an uh, air. And um, I just untied the dog and I opened the back of my car and told him to get in, and he did. Huffman took and the dog to her vet and paid for all of its shots. When police found out, they arrested her and charged her with stealing the dog. Investigators say they did not charge the homeless man because the veterinarian did not report any signs of abuse. And it's wrong. You can't, you can't steal a man's dog. You're going to still listen, she's going to stay on my arm. George Henson now has a new dog named Bandit. Someone in the community saw him alone and gave him the pit bull to keep him company. The dog's got her shots, she's tagged, she's registered to me, and that's the end of it. Can't take this dog. Investigators tell Channel 9 the first dog, Rocky, has now been adopted by a wonderful new family. Officers say Rocky did not go back to Henson because he's a veteran, so they're trying to get him into counseling, therapy, and special housing where dogs are not allowed. <laughs> Huffman says she hopes Henson gets the help he needs, but in the meantime, she's asking investigators to make sure his new dog is taken care of, too. Anybody can have a dog, I said, but if he's homeless or if he's a millionaire and he starts to beat a dog, um, that takes away his right to have an animal. Huffman will be back in court in two weeks, so this case is far from over. Reporting here in Gaston County, Mark Barber, Channel 9 Witness News. Now, if you see a dog that you think is being mistreated, you can take the dog. You cannot take the dog if it belongs to someone else, or you could be arrested just like she was. Instead, you need to report it to the authorities so they can come out and investigate.